Um, yeah, good morning, everyone, um, to today's Honey Technology event um, hosted by the Institution of Agriculture Engineers. My name is Daniel Heft, and um, I will be your moderator today, but I am also the um, chair of the Special Interest Group for Food Engineering, which is um, organizing this event today. Um, our first speaker will be joining us from Macedonia, um, so Vesna Karapetkowska Haristova um is coming from the department of biotechnology and she is an associate professor at the faculty of Biotechn biotechnical sciences at Bitola um in the university of saint clement Odinsky. um vesna um in 2007 she graduated at the very same um faculty um and she also became um the professional recognition being an engineer in processing um, she gained a Master's of Biotechnical Sciences and um, was mainly focused on the field of food quality and safety. In 2015, at the Faculty of Agronomy in Trakia University, Sara Zagora, um, she defended her um, PhD dissertation, also in Biotechnical Sciences, Genetics and the Selection of Domestic Animals. Um, since 2007, um, she is a full-time employee of her faculty. Um, and at the moment, she is a, she's serving as an assistant professor. Um, a lot of her work is around um, biotechnology, livestock production, food quality, and environmental pollution, um, in particular with interest on honey, of course. Um, she has published many, many papers, more than 70. Um, she took part in many workshops, events, and countless of them. And we are very pleased to have her today as our first speaker. Um, so I will just launch a presentation. Well, I'm happy and deeply grateful to the organizing committee of the Institution of Agricultural Engineers UK for the invitation to be part of this wonderful seminar as a presenter. I appreciate the introduction given by your side, dear Danny. And it's great to be speaking with all of you today. Today we will see yes. uh, today, today we will speak about traditional and sustainable beekeeping from our country. Republic of Macedonia, today's name is North Macedonia, unfortunately, for political reasons and uh, friendship and peace with our neighbor countries. The name has been changed. It's a country in Southeast Europe on the Balkan Peninsula. Uh, namely, uh, we were uh, uh, as uh, six republics united into one big powerful country known as Yugoslavia. So we are actually former Yugoslavic Republic of Macedonia. To the east is bordering with Bulgaria. Please, next one. Yes, to be shown better. Today is bordering with Bulgaria, north to the Republic, Kosovo and Serbia, Albania in the west, and Greece in the south. The Macedonian flag is yellow sun with eight rays on the red background. It symbolizes a new sun of freedom, which is sang in the Macedonian anthem. Next slide. We have many natural beauties like lakes and rivers, uh, Ohrid of, uh, Lake of Ohrid, Lake of Prespa, Doiron Lake, this river Varder, the main river in our town. And Lake Ohrid is considered to be one of the oldest lakes in the Europe, and it is UNESCO World Heritage Site. Next slide. Yes. Some of the beauties, high mountains, skin centers. The last running, the last picture right is our town Bitola. It's only 13 kilometers near from the northern border of the Greece, and it is almost 80 to 100 uh, thousand citizens. Small town, but very beautiful. Next slide. Now let's uh, speak about beekeeping in Macedonia. Next slide. 
there's one uh, thought of Albert Einstein. If the bee disappeared off the face of the earth, man would only have four years left to live. Beekeeping has had several roles, production of honey, pollen, or fermented pollen perga, royal jelly, propolis, wax, and bee venom. Bees are pollinators of nature, treatment of various diseases and use in the cosmetic industry, and bees are ecologi ecological animals or insects. Next. Beekeeping holds a special place in Balkan culture. And the wealth of forest and unspoiled land have made honey production and prestigious asset for many mountain communities. In Macedonia specifically, this tradition has an unique aspect, the presence of nat native bee suspicious Apis mellifera macedonica, found throughout the historic Macedonian region from eastern Albania across to Bulgaria. This is our bee. Climatic characteristic and beekeeping in Macedonia, the climate is part of the Mediterranean and continental, and on certain mountains with peaks above 2,000 meters above sea level. There is also a mountain climate. Mostly in the lowlands, summer reach over 30 degrees centigrade and sometimes over 40 degrees centigrade, and with minimal rainfall in the driest region of just 250 millimeters. Winters are, are mostly mild, mild with occasional cold waves carrying low temperature of up to minus 20 degrees centigrade. In mountainous areas, the snow can reach a higher height of over one meter. As a result of climate change, great thirst and hot winds in the early spring and summer cause the honeybee flora to dry up so that weaker bee colonies without the intervention of beekeepers are already regularly starving. Flora or forage for bees. The main pasture or forage is provided with the bar species such as clover, trifolium species, hawthorn, thyme, blackberry, rubus, fruticus. Also, one of the most important woody species in the, is the white acacia, robinia, pseudoacacia, and in dry part, as a thermophilic herb that gives honey with high quality properties is the Dracaena pallidus spinosa. In the mountainous parts, Quercus oak is present from which the bees produce black honey, which is the light one and highly appreciated by the consumers. In some parts, oil beads and sunflower are grown, but the honey from them is not valued as mentioned above. Next, please. 98% of honey is polyfloric. It's important to note that due to the strongly developed biodiversity of honeybee flora in the country, only 2% of honey is monofloral, obtained from the white acacia. The honey is quite bright and has a pleasant taste and smell. It's easy to consume, which make, makes it quite popular by consumers. Uh, well, uh, on this figure, we can see the state of organic production, which is popular in Macedonia. So I can, I can tell that, um, as shown in the figure, from the dark blue columns of the graph, it can be said that the number of bees families organic production is growing in the last three years, 2017 to 2019, so that in 2019, in our country, their number is about 7,000 organic bee families with a tendency to increase in this coming period. Next slide, please. Let's speak about traditional or ecological beekeeping to protect our indigenous breed Apis mellifera macedonica. Traditional beekeeping in Macedonia consists traditional keeping in scabs or baskets, keeping of bees in rocks, characteristic of the mountain Mario area, and keeping bees in the cavities of forest trees. Type of scabs. We have bell shape, conical shape. In our country, the most common is the conical scab. Dimension, height 60 to 70 centimeters, and diameter of the base. 40 to 50 centimeters. 
As a material for construction, we use, we use young hazel branches as support. Fold as wall covering, it's possible that the whole covering is made by young hazel branches. Insulation by coating uh, with a mixture of cattle down, manure with uh, finely chopped clay. If there are areas in the Balkans where a mixture of clay and chalk hay is used as insulation material, and small bundles of wild, wild rice stands are also used as additional insulation. Next, please. Knitting technique. The knitting technique consists of several sequential procedures. First is making the base of the scabs. We need to take a piece of wood mostly pine wood, which is previously made in the shape of a circle, and at the ends, at least five holes are drilled, and there should always be an odd number of holes, just odd number of holes. Placing hazelnut branches of previously peeled bark to prevent the development of worms in the bark that destroy the wood, in the previously prepared holes in the base. Knitting procedure with ivy twist around the placed branches rods, and for every 10 centimeters, knitted twist, five more hazelnut branches are added, and the procedure is repeated two more times. At the end of the knitting, the last three wrapped rows are tied with wire or strong thread to achieve stability from the breaking in the knitted string. For more practical manipulation, two planks of branches are placed crosswise in the middle, which would serve as a reinforcement to improve the stability of the honeycomb. It's carried out by coating the prepared mixture manually with gloves two times, twice immediately after knitting and two, three days after the first layer will be dry. Layer thickness is about 0.5 to 1 centimeter. Settlement or moving of the bee family in the scab. Just before settling the mulch is sprayed with a pre-prepared solution of sucrose water, ration one to one, and then the walls are coated with rubbed green lemon balm, Melissa officina. The scap is placed just above the swarm so that the bees can enter the scap attracted by the coating design. The bees are smoked from below to force them to cl climb up the scap. Duration of the procedure is 20 to 30 minutes. Once the bees have, bees have entered, the scap is lowered and placed on a pre prepared floor. The bee family swarm consists of queen, drones, and young worker bees. Those bees, there, there are 20 to 80, 12 to 18 days old, start building the honeycomb as a result of the activity of the wax glands. Techniques for extracting honey from scab. The following method is known as first cut of the honeycomb hanging from the scab in the empty space and cut off the final honeycomb in the scamp in the month of June and July. The cutting is done with a special knife. They're cut from two to four pieces and they are sealed with wax cuts more precisely than the honey is ripened. This technique gives honey its honey hole, which is attractive for epitourism and visitors, especially in foreign, for foreign tourists. If we want to remove the honey from the honeycomb, it is done first by pressing the honeycomb wrapped in burrs and filtering it. In this table in figure two, table one and figure two, we can see the obtained parameters for keeping bees in scabs in period 2016 up to 2020. So we can see and conclude that in, in the year 2018 and 2020, we almost do not have do not have honey yield from scabs zero we can just see that swarms produced swarms are from one to three depends of scab one scab two scab three the examination scab so when i was speaking with uh, my uh, beekeepers uh, collaborators they said that this is because of the lack of nectar from the 
uh, nature and climatic changes is the main reason for this. Um, so many rain, rainfalls, and also cold temperature up to June, maybe beginning of July. Next slide. Advantages and disadvantages as advantages with this traditional beekeeping due to the limited space in the skep, the bee family in, in a short period of time reaches the maximum of its devel development, while the bee family enters the swarming and gets two to three swarms as advantage an advantage in traditional beekeeping. Bees overwinter better. As the number of bees decreases in winter, they move to the bottom of the scap upwards and always have honey and perga within reach. The cone shape allows the bee family to move easily towards the food, honey, and maintain the optimal temperature. Obtaining high quality organic honey and wax, and it is attractive for lovers, lovers of traditional beekeeping. Disadvantages obtaining low honey yield and non economic profitability and viability, several manipulation during the routine check of the bee family, especially during the treatment against the kick varroa destructor or varroa Jacobson species. As a conclusion, the production of honey in the scabs is the traditional way that was practiced in the past. Tradition that has a great impact on the development of beekeeping and it reached a heritage of every nation and country. Nowadays, this valuable te technology of beekeeping is gradually disappearing. Less often, young people start engaging in beekeeping. Only exists one non governmental organization, it's Magbi. The name is Magbi. They are trying to keep this traditional beekeeping and work on that. After tourism in Macedonia, it's attraction for the tourists. Beekeepers get to know visitors about life and working style of honeybees, followed by photographing tourists with an open, open hive of bees, tasting honey directly from the frame of the hive, and red dressing in beekeeping equipment and many, many other things. Apiculture or apitherapy. Already in 2016, the first api chambers are opened where guests inhale the aromatic air from the hives, which bees swirl with their wings and contain propolis, royal jelly, perga, plant hormones, wax, and nectar in evaporation. Air from the hive is useful as, in, as an aid in diseases of the respiratory system, migraine, to raise the the body immunity and improve general condition. Up inhalator, inhalations are especially recommended for athletes due to the, the increase in lung volume and relaxation of the whole organism. Thank you for the intention. Thank you, Daniel. Thank you, Vesna. Um, if anyone has any questions, um, let's pop them in the chat box in Zoom. And uh, there's a question from Rosemary Idika. Um, so she says, in Waba, uh, in Waba Research Institute of Nigeria, we um, uh, intercorp with bees. So she would really love to know other value additions for honey apart from just selling natural honey. Um, so, so in her research institute, the intercrop with bees, but she would like to know what other valuable products you can have from the beehive rather than just pure honey. Just pure honey, yes. I mentioned it uh, before that wax is ecological, right? And also propolis, you can get also from it's ecological also a big product and that's all that's enough yes maybe also a royal jelly but mostly for the honey and okay. 
it's traditional. It's uh, for a, a sixteen-hour uh, authentical apis um, mellifera macedonica, and for the visitors for apitourism, apitherapy, mostly for this reason. Okay, and another question: How does the yield compare of the traditional beehive or wooden structures, or compared to the traditional boxes or the now modern boxes? How to compare the the yield? How does the yield compare between the traditional Macedonian way of beekeeping compared to uh, modern practice? Uh, well, this uh, conventional or modern practice beekeeping practice beekeeping uh, yield of the honey is mostly uh, differential that uh, this traditional yield of uh, honey because as I mentioned before. Uh, maximum uh, from in one ninth year when uh, there are so many nectar in the nature, uh, from one step in traditional beekeeping, uh, you can uh, take maybe six to seven kilogram honey. But in conventional beekeeping, uh, where we mostly use boxes as southern blood or Lancet root or other uh, we, we can get maybe in such a nice year, 15 to 18 or maybe 20 kilograms for, from one hive or one box. Okay, uh, Nicholas Korka is asking about epitherapy, um, in particular for the treatment of asthma. He's asking epitherapy, um, is it used by your national health service or um, is it a traditional like ancient way of remedy for the people of Macedonia? It's homeopathy and uh, we, we just started to use this in the last year, 2016-2018, uh, started to be uh, popular. For asthma it's nice and I would like to say if if you are able, if you have chance to come, you can practice it. I will give you a chance for that. Okay. Um, Directly here from our traditional homeopathic uh, apotherapy. Okay, Anthony um, Antonuki is asking, are they moving to more traditional box hives um, that allow for the use of movable frames? No, uh, it can be movable like other boxes in uh, conventional beekeeping. Here, uh, bees are building this, uh, th this uh, inside by wax, by uh, glandular, by their glandular wax. Okay, P. Towers is asking, um, do you see many differences in honey flavor from the region or is it all mixed before you set it to, for export, for, let's say? Uh, yes, uh, sensorial characteristics of uh, honey is uh, different from many regions. So it depends on the forage of the bees. Uh, if they uh, took this forage, uh, if they take this forage uh, from uh, the lowlands, uh, there are uh, many uh, flowers and different plants uh, that in comparison with highlands where there are acacia and other species of trees where uh, bees are taking this forage and making honey with such sensorial characteristics. Okay, another question in the same direction. How important is honey production commercially for your country? Do you export a lot or is it mainly for domestic market? Uh, mostly of the honey is for a domestic market. And if we like to, uh, to make uh, our honey to be uh, exported outside of the country, we have very rigorous procedures for this. So it should be with uh, geographical origins, it should be with some um, analyzes, etc., etc., according to the rela regulation from the law. So uh, sometimes uh, we go in uh, Italy on a fair, and there we uh, present our honey, and I think in 2015 or maybe before, 
uh, we got a first place from Slow Photo was uh, one of the presenters there. Uh, so uh, we got first place for the sensorial characteristic of our Macedonian honey. Okay. Another question regarding commercial beekeeping. Um, like rather than just honey production, how important is um, beekeeping for pollination, industrial pollination purpose? Beekeeping for pollination purpose is enormous because without bees, as Albert Einstein said, we, we, we should live just four years ahead. Um, they make uh, a wonderful, they have a wonderful instinct and uh, their uh, chance to, to make this pollination is uh, much more bigger than other insects because uh, look, these uh, possess swarms possess some spirit. They have spirit. So somehow the uh, attraction between flowers and bees is uh, both sides. So they know they, they dance in the air and they attract to come much more bees and to come on the same flower or, or next one or next one. This is mystery and it, it's a really life of the bees is a big mystery and they well they can well uh, done this procedure of pollination okay i think we have only time for one more last question and there's a question from ayodele um asking how do you characterize like your macedonian honey what makes it different to let's say italian honey spanish honey german honey and so on uh look uh for this, to answer this question, I must say uh, only one thing, and I say it. It depends only uh, in comparison with other uh, producers of honey of foreign countries. We can say that uh, the differ is only with forage. So, according to the forage, it can be shown the characteristic sensorial characteristic of the honey. Okay, thank you, Visma. Um